Hello, fifth graders! This week we are reviewing our element of art color and our complementary color pairings. To do this, we are creating a color wheel using our first names. So let's get started. For this project, you are going to want a couple different materials. I would recommend having definitely a pencil and also an eraser. And then I would also recommend having some kind of black Sharpie or black marker or pen, whatever you have on hand. You're also going to need to have some kind of materials to color this. I am using markers. Again, you can use crayons, color pencils, whatever you have. You could even use paint if you have it. The first thing we need to do is write our first name in bubble or block letters. Now, I will say if you have a different word you want to write other than your name, that is fine. I am just suggesting your first name because it's easy. And now you can use this as a sign to hang up or something like that for your room or whatever. So I'm going to show you my technique for an easy way to do block or bubble letters if you struggle with them. The first thing you want to want to do is get your pencil and I'm just going to write out my first name. At this point, you probably have figured out my first name through Edsby, so oh my goodness, you know my first name. And I'm just going to block it out on my paper, nice and light. So I'm going to press down a little dark so you can see it. This also allows you to plan out how big your letters are because sometimes we start our block letters and then we're like, oh no, it doesn't fit on the page. My name's too long. If your name is extremely long, you have like eight, eight letters in your name. You have two choices. You can do all eight letters across your paper or the other choice is um, you can break up the letters into two layers. So you could do like four letters and then four letters. All right, the next step I'm going to do this with Sharpie so you can see it. However, for you, I recommend doing this with pencil in case you make a mistake and you can erase it. What we're going to do is these are now a guide for our block letters. I'm going to basically outline them like this. So I'm going to start over here next to my pencil line and I'm going to draw my line. And I need to go a little bit past where my E with the pencil ends. So that way I can continue my outline. When I get to a line where it ends like this, I'm just going to draw a vertical line. So there's my E. And now I'm going to do the same thing for my M's. Now I'm going to talk about my A because my A has a little cutout here and other letters like an O or a P or an R are going to have this same little feature. So how we do a letter with like a cutout where it has like a hole, you're going to go ahead and you're going to, oh, I kinda, see, I've gotta re-situate my A. It's too close to my M. See, that's one of the benefits of having done it in pencil first. So like I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and outline my A. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to also do it right here where I have the hole. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take my eraser and erase. Now I am going to, again, use a Sharpie because that way you can see it nice and clearly. You can do this with a pencil and I'm going to divide my paper up into six sections for our color wheel. So I'm going to go from corner to corner and then I am going to draw a vertical line going straight down the middle of my paper, making sure to touch where the two diagonal lines meet. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight, it just needs to be good enough. We are now moving on to the coloring portion of our project. So the first thing is I need to separate these colors into the primary colors and the secondary colors. I want you to take a second and see if you can remember which three of these are our primary colors. These are the colors we can not make. They are our starter colors, almost like, again, our starter level Pokemon kind of thing. You have to start with these three. It's red, yellow, and blue. These are our three primary colors. 
That means these three are our secondary colors. They're our colors that we get when we mix two of our primary colors. We're going to start by coloring our primary colors on our color wheel. When I start coloring, I am not going to be coloring the letters yet. I am leaving them white and I am coloring the space around the letters. We will talk about how we're going to color the letters a little later on. So I'm going to start with my primary colors and I'm just going to pick any triangle, it does not matter. And I'm going to start with red. So I'm just going to start right here. So there is my red. For the rest of my primary colors, I need to make sure to skip one space. They do not want to touch each other. Maybe they think they have cooties, maybe they were fighting, I don't know, I don't care, but I need to make sure to leave one white space in between my red and whatever the next primary color I choose, which for me, I'm just going to go ahead and choose yellow. I'm making sure to not color inside any of my letters with blue. I need to make sure again, I'm keeping one white space in between my yellow and one white space in between my red. So that would be this space right here. I'm now ready to move on to my secondary colors. So like I said, we make a secondary color by mixing two of our primary colors together. And the way we figure out where to put our secondary color on the color wheel is by putting it next to the two primary colors used to make it. So let's take orange, for example. How do I make orange? I make orange by mixing red and yellow together. So because red and yellow make orange, I'm going to put orange in between red and yellow. How do I make green? Blue and yellow. That means to make purple, also known as violet, we have to mix red and blue together because that's the only space available. Now let's talk about how we're going to color your name. The reason we are doing this color wheel is to practice our complementary colors, which we learned about all the way at the beginning of the school year. To remind you, complementary colors are colors opposite of each other on the color wheel. So yellow is complementary to purple. Blue is complementary to orange. Green is complementary to red. So we are coloring the parts of our name with the complementary color of the section it falls into. So what I mean is, if I come to the red section right here, the complementary color to red is green. So these little areas of my letters that fall in the red section are going to get colored green. And the complementary color to purple is yellow. So this area of the letters is going to get colored yellow. And the complementary color to blue is orange, so this gets colored orange. And now I do that for my remaining sections, making sure to color the letters with the complementary color. And that is the end of our project. I cannot wait to see what you guys submit.